Good to see you again, mate. Mate, great to see you too. So, tell us about the awesome dozer that you've got here and how it's panned out for you. To be honest, I couldn't be happier. Mm -hmm. From delivery to the few backwater things that had to come in later, they all came in, to actually having the toolbox of my dreams. Magic. Everything's been seamless. Sweet, sweet. So you've got a few toys here as well lined up. You love oh, the old look, RC cars. Look, the bit, I've kept them inside forever and they're, they're in a cupboard where I never look at them and I thought, you know what, I'll put them in my toolbox. And the design of the, the toolbox and how it's all worked for you when you're doing stuff, what do you reckon, the way it's set So up? when you sold me on the dozer, I had that sinking feeling a little bit, geez, I've gone too big, but I was wrong. Bigger is better. Bigger will always be better. Don't care what anyone says. Everything has a home. Every drawer is full and everything's got, got its place. So the EVA trays are fantastic. All my mates have come over throughout Christmas in the last two months. And yeah. every time they've come over, they've, they've just been blown away with, yeah. with what I have. Uh, okay, I don't have a fridge. <laughs> I mean, now I need to get a fridge. <laughs> last time we saw you, you had a couple of projects on the go. You had a Capri, you had a 300C Chrysler. What's the go with them? So how's this thing working out with with those projects? Well, you know, it's like Christmas time. You don't get much done. The 300 C's on the hoist. Yeah, it's been on the hoist now for two months. It's gone up and down a few times. I've cleaned it a few times, and it's still sitting there. Look, the the next step is is to rip the engine out of that again. Again, that means you've done it before. Yeah, so I did it about a year and a half ago, and I did it actually at my dad's house on a grass on the grass Shit. outside with literally bits and bits of tools. Wow, and it was. A nightmare because every time you went to undo something, you had the wrong tool, so you had to make do. Yeah. Or it took twice as long. Now they've got the right tools, the right extensions, the right spanners, the right ratcheting spanners. Actually, looking forward to how quick it comes out and how much easier it is to pull out. And being a Chrysler, that thing's all all uh, imperial, isn't it? Yep. And so you've got a wicked range of imperial. I've got a wicked range of everything. If you don't mind, mate, we'd love to go through and have a good look at exactly how you've set it up and. Do a bit of a draw by draw for, for everybody out there that's thinking about getting one of these things. Don't get one, you're mad, but yep, let's do it. <laughs> Cheers, mate. So now we're gonna take you through exactly how Rob's set up his toolbox here. As you can see, he's got all of his toys across the top there. And also he's got his little tech cart there on the right hand side too. So we're gonna do a bit of a draw by draw presentation of, uh, of exactly what you get in this massive dozer toolkit. All right, so this is how Rob set up his top drawer. Obviously, there's gonna be a few little bits and pieces in here that, uh, that Rob sort of added um, from his own tools that he's already got, like the battery tools and stuff like that. But what you get in the kit up the top here is you get that full 142 piece EVA tray. Comes with all your ratchets, your extensions. So you've got three eight, quarter inch, half inch. So you've got all your Imperial and metric sockets. You've got uh, your extensions here. You've got half inch breaker. Um, got uni joints over there, a good set of pliers. So you've got your side cutters, your linesman's pliers and your long nose. Dentions in quarter inch, three eight and half inch, 38 piece bit set. On these rails here, what we've also got is your deep sockets. So you've got quarter inch, three eight and half inch drive deep sockets in metric and imperial. These ones here are for taking wheel nuts off your car if you've got mags and you don't want to scratch up your mags. You've got some adjustables here. Also some other adjustables that he's obviously using somewhere else. Over here we've got uh, our um, eight piece half inch hex drives, chromoly bend them, excellent quality, half inch drive impact. We've got uh, some half inch drive hex keys in Imperial as well. Got a range of di different ratchets. So you've got range of 72 tooth ratchets to complement your 60 tooth as well. You've got torque wrenches here, 3 8 half inch and quarter inch. So that pretty much takes care of your top tray. Let's see what he's got in this next drawer. So these are all your impact sockets. They're in half inch drive, metric and imperial. Start at 10 mil, go to 27 mil. And imperial, they go from 5 16 to 1 inch. Also get an extension in there as well. Here we've got a 54 piece bit set. So you've got uh, all your security bits, torques, multi splines, half inch or three eight drive as well, plus your, your longer ones. Really good little bit set. Three eight drive, 150 mil Allen keys. You got some power tool sockets there as well. A Couple of 200 mil screwdriver extensions for your power tools. We've got a nine piece half inch drive hex bit socket set here as well and some crow's feet. Here's your imperial hex bits that we showed before in metric. What you've got here is a uh, nut twist socket set. So let's say you strip a nut, 
These things here will actually uh, pull off just about any strip nut. I don't know if you can see that in there, but um, they grip when you're turning the other way, so it makes it really easy to get strip nuts off. Down now to the next drawer, and what we've got uh, is your seal puller. You've got a reamer there. Um, you've got a couple of pipe cutters. This here is a chain breaker. Got a deburring tool. Brilliant set of scissors. I've used these scissors before to cut aluminium and things like that. They are brutal. Pipe flaring tool for brakes. Bending tool for brake lines. Uh, pickup tool. You've got a belt testing tool there. Antenna removal tool. Inline spark plug tester. Windscreen puller. Got all your Allen keys in both metric and imperial. Plus you've got your torques, which go from T10 to T50. Got a set of CV pliers there. Feeler gauges. Next up, we've got our 26 piece combination spanner specialized tray here. Got your flare nut spanners, you've got your stubby ratchets, also got your long ringies, four piece pry bar set, a few uh, electrical tools there. This is a really nice crimping tool, does leads as well, so very useful. Also got a wire stripper, set of mini bolt cutters, a testing tool. A clip remover, one of these uh, universal support clamps for, you know, when you open your bonnet and, uh, and the gas strut's not working properly, you can pop one of them on there. This is our cutting and crimping kit that we do. Absolutely beautiful unit. Okay, down now to our next drawer, we've got our side cutters, both straight, right and left. You also got a great set of long pliers. So these are long handle pliers. I've got a 90 degree turn, a 45 degree turn and a straight set really good for getting into tight spots. Radiator hose clamps, these two orange ones here. Beautiful set of clamping pliers for smaller stuff. You've got your snap ring pliers, you've got your circlet plier set there. Excellent wire twisting tool. You've got a disc brake, disc brake piston tool, a set of heavy duty pipe cutters there. Also a half inch drive filter strap wrench. All right, down now we've got some three quarter inch gear. So we've got a 27 piece three quarter inch drive socket set. I'm going to pull this out, put it up the top and show you what it looks like. So we've got our 27 piece 3 quarter inch socket set. You've got uh, your ratchet, breaker bar, couple of extensions. Metric and Imperial covers pretty much what you're going to need in 3 quarter inch. Goes from 22 mil to 50 mil and 7 eighths to 2 inch. All in this awesome blow mold case. Then you've also got uh, two sets of impact sockets here. You've got metric and imperial, chromoly bendem, deep impact sockets, very good quality, three quarter inch impact sockets. You also got a 475 mil three quarter inch breaker bar. And we've also got this three quarter inch torque set. Goes from, well it's got T70, T80, T90 and T100. Uh, excellent quality torque set three quarter inch. So down the bottom drawer, uh, Rob stored his um, slide hammer kit. Also got your indexable pry bar with 14 different positions. Uh, you got all his hammers there, club hammer, dead blow hammer, and a set of double ended open end spanners. So down to our big drawer here, uh, Rob's got his radiator test kit, set of bolt cutters, and his floor mat. In these, uh, in these side drawers, these EVA trays are made perfectly to fit these side drawers. What we've got here is our metric spanner tray. It goes from 6mm all the way to 32mm. It looks like he's got his four-piece pick set in there as well. A uh, little 10mm flare nut ratchet spanner. Down now to our imperial spanner tray. Uh, dense EVA foam. Goes from quarter inch to inch and a quarter. Okay, Rob's got his screwdrivers here. Obviously, just likes them there so he's put them there. In this tray we've got our imperial and metric ratcheting spanner tray. So these are a 90 tooth ratcheting spanner in metric and imperial. Uh, excellent quality ratcheting spanners. Your metric go from 8 mil to 21 mil. Your imperial go from quarter inch to one inch. Bit of a mix and mash in the next tray here. Five piece file set, magnetic mirror and pickup set. You've got thread files in there. Ratchet extension, zip ties, clip removers. Got a 10 piece pin punch and cold chisel set. 12 piece needle file set. So down to this drawer, we've got a uh, little tap and die set, an, an 11 piece electronic fuel injection tester solenoid set. 
Uh, also got um, cam chain alignment tool and a cam locking tool there as well. And a 25 piece screw extractor and drill set. So what we've got here is our drill set. Comes in both metric and imperial. I've been using these drills for a long time. They're really good drills, really happy with them. Also got a um, oil transfer syringe there. We have a larger oil transfer syringe here as well. So this is a 1.5 litre air caro gun. Bearing puller separator. Good little handy unit to have. Excellent quality digital tire inflator. Got this uh, 23 piece terminal release set here, which is a really handy little unit to have. Basically any plugs in your car, you're gonna be able to actually release the actual terminal for them. BMW, Ford, Opel, Mercedes, you name it, Jaguar. Pretty well any terminal you're gonna be able to get out with this kit. So what we've got here is our heavy duty circlip ply set. Uh, this will do up to 16 different applications. Set of step drills. This is a nut set kit, 150 piece hose clamp set. So we've got a few air tools here. We've got a really good quality set of air shears, a nice little air die grinder, 97 degree air angle sander, and three different sets of roll lock sanding pads in different uh, grit. So you've got 80 grit, 150 grit, and 300 grit. Set of hacksaws there and a whole heap of hacksaw blades, three quarter inch air ratchet, half inch air ratchet, Obviously he's got an older half inch air ratchet as well. A little mini hand sand blaster. And down the bottom drawer, got some air hose and some gear pullers. So yeah, this is, uh, this is Rob's tech cart. He uses it for all sorts of different stuff. Um, it's got all sorts of bits and pieces in here that, uh, that from, from gear he's been working on. Um, really handy little unit to have. You can store whatever you want in this and take it out to the job. Good little unit to have in the workshop. Rob, thanks very much for uh, letting us in and letting us into your shed and having a look through this dozer of yours, mate. Really impressed with, you know, how everything's laid out and what you've done. And obviously you've added a few of your existing tools yeah, in there absolutely. as well. Yeah, if we can, we'd love to come back again in six months, a year's time. And mate, I'd love, to, I'd love to show you the engine out of the 300 next time we come back and tell you how easy it was. Touch. Touch wood, right? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Been out once, it would be out again. Yeah. Pre, yeah, well, future Rob's problem. Yeah. Rob yep. has lots of future problems. Okay. And look, if there's anything else you need, you know, we're just down the road, so. Mate, I love it. Lifetime warranty, right? Mm -hmm. No, nah, thanks again, Stewie. Pleasure, mate. I Thank really you can't much. thank Jimmy Tools enough, mm -hmm. um, especially the fact that I can get finance, right? It's made me get what I want right the first time, and I'm pretty, pretty stoked. Thanks again. No problems. Cheers, Cheers. mate.